What's going on, Phaser Games? This is Justin, owner of the Phaser Network, and I am bringing you a Medal of Honor Warfighter game review. I'm actually playing Medal of Honor 2010. Um, I got a little sick kill streak right here, and figured I'd start the conversation out with some pretty sweet gameplay. Um, just a little clip. I go about nine kills here in a row, get a couple rocket strikes. And, uh, you know, this is just one of those games where um, it'll never get old. I play this game all the time still. I have it on the PlayStation 3. If anybody wants to play with me, I'm always looking for guys to play with. My gamer tag is IG underscore Waterman or Big Waterman. All one word. You can add me. We can get down. It's a Medal of Honor. Old school game. Two years old. Still one of the best first person shooters I have ever played. It has its you know bad times and its pros and its cons but by far one of the best first person shooters I've ever played and I've, I've been in the gaming scene for a long time about seven eight years now so but another gameplay right here I'm actually rocking the sniper on the uh, you know this map marketplace map so other than that I'm gonna start talking about Medal of Honor Warfighter now Electronic Arts revealed their plans for uh, a few new Battlefield 3 expansions and they formally unveiled the Medal of Honor Warfighter which is planned for an October 23rd release. Uh, they actually made this known at a gamers uh, game developers conference and that was in San Francisco about two weeks ago so we're actually looking for an October 23rd release of this product and you can actually pre-order it um, at this moment, I'm pretty sure. So I was in GameStop earlier today, and uh, I was asking about it, and I, I went, and, I went ahead and pre-ordered it. So I'm pretty sure everybody, for all consoles, can pre-order the game for October 23rd. I know I'll be getting it. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to get it on PlayStation or Xbox. Um, I'm really good with the Medal of Honor controls on PlayStation, so I might, I might have to get that one on PlayStation. So, like I said, if you want to play. Uh, my my gamer tags Big Waterman and IG Waterman. So, more Medal of Honor Warfighter. Now, the Medal of Honor was actually released with a pretty sweet live action trailer for the game, as a reenactment of a hostage rescue in the Philippines, which was showing a hostage dragged out into a room while other captives watched in horror. Now, shown in the the silhouette of the wall, the the terrorists actually forced the hostage to to a knee to a kneel, and uh, one of the terrorists terrorists brandishes a machete, which pretty much you presumably think that you know the terrorist is going to behead the hostage. So uh, the lights dim, you know the shots are fired, and when all the lights come back on, you know uh, the silhouette of the hostage remains on the wall. So you know, uh, you know it's like the the hostage looks up and was trying to figure out where all these gunshots came from and who was responsible for taking out these terrorists and you know that's the uh, that's the tier one you know motto of, of Medal of Honor you know just such a great uh, base game it really focuses on like real events real heroes you know it's like it's not like your your normal first person shooter like Call of Duty where you're running around quick scoping with snipers you know that does that shit doesn't happen in real life, you know, like, that's why I, I love Medal of Honor so much because of the fact that it bases it more towards a real life scenario. Uh, rocket strikes and, you know, nobody's going to call in a nuke or, or anything like that because, I mean, your, your whole entire team's going to die, not just the enemy. So, you know, awesome kill streaks. I'm, I'm hoping everything's going to stay kind of like the same. Um, although there are new developers, I know DICE did the multiplayer on Medal of Honor 2010, and I read that uh, Danger Close will actually be doing all of the multiplayer. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to seeing the difference. Danger Close does a great job. They're, they're a bunch of great developers, so I'm really excited about that. Now, reading on more, I, I, I'm reading some of this stuff. Uh, his name is Dennis. Uh, Semeca, he d actually did a review on Medal of Honor Warfighter and quoted, Every single mission in this game 
has a dotted line to a real world event. Now, this is what Goodrick told the crowd at this opening at the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco. Now, adding that, if we recognize some of the missions in Warfighter, it may be due to reading similar stories in the news. The trailer was apparently based on a real-life rescue of aid workers taken hostage in Isabella City, Vaslin in the Philippines. So, the trailer alone, based on pretty much a real event, you know, in a game uh, mode trailer. So, just another way that Medal of Honor really impacts the, the realness of the world, the, the soldiers that fight battles every day in real life, and, you know, I just have a lot of respect for these guys developing these type of games uh, whenever I'm done with school and my, my degree in graphic design and all that stuff I really want to focus on a game that has many of the qualities like Medal of Honor does real life you know just, just the, re the realness of it to me is what makes it great so now the warfighter will not limit uh, stories to those of the American Tier 1 operators like the first one did, Medal of Honor 2010. Uh, this one will also feature International Special Operations Team, British Special Air Service, the SAS, like you see in the Call of Duty series, and the German Commando Special Krafte, the KSK, and also the Polish Grom Commandos, among others. Now, Warfighter will also feature blue on blue playlist where these different spec ops forces will be pitted against each other now these announcements were followed by a staged interview between this goodrick and two american special forces operatives identified as kevin and tyler now kevin who said he was a former member of naval special warfare talked about a vent book in which he and a teammate wrote down their frustrations while waiting to be deployed now, this event book evolved into a manifesto on how the two men would fight the war on terror if they were allowed to fight in their own way, which found its way into Greg Goodrick's hands in 2006 and was reportedly the basis in part for the Medal of Honor reboot in 2010. Now, Tyler self-identified as a part of a special operations group that dealt with Tier 1 and Tier 2 operatives. Um, when Tyler played the Medal of Honor reboot, he said he realized the creators knew some people because the game was right on and portrayed the soldiers correctly. Now, Tyler is now working on Warfighter full-time as an associate producer, making sure that the weapons and kit are authentic and directing motion capture sentience. So, there will also be a demo level. Um, pretty much after impressing on the crowd even further how authentic Warfighter is going to be the developers actually showed a brief demo level that was extremely uh, reminiscent of Modern Warfare 4 um, aside from clearly different game engines being used everything from the close quarters combat and liberal action of hand grenades to slow motion door breaching made the comparison impossible to ignore now during the demo uh, a door breach was pretty much preceded by a four option menu which included icons that suggested the option to apply breaching explosives, flashbang grenades, or just straight kicking the door in and charging in. Now, uh, the breaching options were memorable as the only mechanic in the demo level which did not seem instantly familiar from the Modern Warfare games. The infantry section was followed by an on rails river extraction on inflatable boats and a traditional high action escape scene punctuated by use of a mounted grenade launcher and ending with a helicopter extraction at sea so pretty much like the Rainbow Six style games as well you have the options for breaching into doors multiple ways if you want to open the door and throw flashbangs uh, blind all the enemies inside if you want to completely blow the door off the hinges with C4 breach, uh, breaching charges or you can just straight go marine style kick the door in and just blast them all uh, I'm pretty sure there'll be some kind of slow motion action going on between that uh, like you do see in the campaign of the uh, Call of Duty series as well so 
Like I said, I'm very, very excited for this game. It's definitely the top one on my list to get uh, besides Future Soldier. I just love the first-person shooter games. That's pretty much the only ones I really enjoy playing. I, I got on Medal of Honor 2010 this morning before college, and I actually played this gameplay you're watching right now. And it's just one of those games where there's so much explosions going around, and there's just buildings are blowing up. You know, people are coming at you with knives. Uh, you got RPGs flying. You got snipers in every corner of the map. It's just one of those games where you're on your toes the whole game like my heart was beating my adrenaline was pumping you know and once you get into it and you get the controls down it's really kind of the same controls as battlefield but the way that the controls are it's just so much smoother and it's so much of an easier game to play and get kills and than, than battlefield it's not as open it's kind of got the uh the seclusion of of modern warfare but also in the Battlefield 3 perspective of the whole entire map is pretty much available to you. So that's all the time I got for Medal of Honor Warfighter. Stay tuned for my next game reviews. Later, guys.